Hi chess friends, this is King's Executor and today we have a uh, day off from the World Chess Championship match and Carlson is leading as we all know by two points. Um, to fill this day off I have a game where we can just lean back and uh, just watch and enjoy. It's not a game of uh, big theoretical interest as a whole but the opening is interesting to this channel's viewers because when I play white I like to play one f4 and get the bird's Leningrad opening which is the reversed Dutch Leningrad formation which white can adopt having a tempo more. Um, but this is a game uh, a blitz game I played with the black pieces having to face 1f4 and I haven't put too much uh, consideration of how to exactly play against the bird uh, I have some ideas but I don't have really much experience with it because not many players play 1f4 so that playing the, the bird from the white side has an advantage of uh, black players not um, knowing what to do most of the times. Um, D5 I played and now we see really White's opening moves are exactly as I would play them and with Black I play how I would, ex uh, would, ex um, would suggest. And now this move D3 prepares the E4 break but the queen is needed there before that so I'm aware of that now black meanwhile got a nice uh, pawn center here c3 c3 is a little bit early let's just drop back <coughs> queen e8 could be played immediately that c3 move does take away some squares from this knight and from this bishop but sometimes you just want to put your knight on c3 depends c3 knight c6 queen e1 and now I thought okay white's plan as I know very well is effective. Um, I mean I can play this in hyperspeed mode against any engine and I wouldn't have any problems whatsoever in the first maybe 15 moves and then I would have to start thinking with white. So I know e5, e4, sorry, e4 is very effective for white. So the only thing I could think of in blitz now you know not really think but what I knew that would at least a little bit uh, or slightly uh, s uh, um, dampen White's plan is Bishop G4 that move can be played earlier as well and the threat is basically to just exchange this Bishop for the Knight which has a nice grip on this E five square and afterwards we could uh, start playing queen c3 and e5 and maybe exchange on e5 and have this backwarded pawn here and only one move avoids this plan or at least bishop takes f3 and that's what uh, my opponent played and which what I would play as well always practically so now taking on f3 makes no sense at all so I played d4 disrupting the e4 move again the idea would be to take en passant but that again for the time being blocks my bishop h3 questioning my bishop and I drop back c4 now again <laughs> a 
a good move. Um, this Blitz player was relatively high rated. What makes me think that he probably is not a subscriber of this channel, but if he is, then he listened well. Um, he really plays the way I would play. So <laughs> it's, I feel like playing against myself uh, until until now at least. Now I started thinking what should I do? Basically play on the queen side or in the center. And I played queen c7 flexible. Um, not a move like queen d6 because that's vulnerable to any forcing lines here. Um, queen d6 in the bird's Leningrad is many times a bad piece because that pawn is often on c3 and you know the knight often comes this way harassing the queen on d6 so queen d6 no good idea <coughs> queen c7 and now my opponent started playing funny moves played um, rook f2 here just let's drop back. Okay, the idea behind rook f2 is probably to play e4, I take en passant, and then, well, then the knight would be hanging. So it makes no sense uh, as far as I can tell. So the queen would have to take this pawn. The queen would land on d3. The p these pawns are exchanged then and then the rook I is here so uh, I thought the b rook could maybe come to e2 but it makes no sense whatsoever it's just a very bad move in this position especially let's drop back with the move h3 the queen does a very good job of protecting this uh, weakened pawn here and rook f2 just disconnects this uh, uh, connection between the pawn and the queen so this is why I played knight h5 immediately attacking the pawn and basically the rook has to move forward or knight f1 well that's not a very nice position to have um, yeah Black could play rook d8, not allowing e4, because then after taking en passant, this pawn would be hanging. Okay. So instead, he played knight e4, which is not a good idea. If you want to defend something, the defender should be uh, less vulnerable and not so easy to be attacked. Now that pawn, ne that knight attacks c5, so I played b6. That again weakens the long diagonal. Let's just drop back. Knight b4 would have been best, defending c5 with the queen and threatening a fork on c2, but it's not as clear. Um, let's see. If queen d1, then f5 could be played and if the knight drops back now we can take the pawn on g3 but um, yeah no but <laughs> that l that looks nice that just looks nice so let's drop back so instead white could sorry then try g4 but then we have the other pawn now to take and now why can decoy the queen to f4 by exchanging on f4, play a3 and tempting black to play this fork, but now the queen can exchange here and the knight hops on this beautiful square, but c5 was hanging. And after b6 we have a hanging pawn on d4. And after takes, takes and the knight must take because the knight is hanging. Now we can just recapture here on b2, forking pawn and uh, rook, and we win the pawn.
pawns back with interest. Now the rook on a8 would be attacked. We can exchange this bishop and play something like this. And this just looks very good for black. Black has this uh, trump on the a-file and white isn't as fast. So this is probably winning for black. So instead of b6 sorry, instead of b6 knight b4 would have been best. b6 is an okay move and we went into this line here, familiar to the one we just saw. And I was attacked here on f4. Now I thought um, queen e3 probably is a very good move, pinning the rook. But it was blitz, as I said, and I didn't want to go into this. Let's just look at it. It is the best move, and but I wanted to play safe. That's a practical decision in blitz. But now you see the problems uh, white can uh try to uh affect here knight takes c5 now we have three pieces hanging i marked them so you have to take one and now you see rook the rook hanging and the pawn hanging the knight hanging now a second pawn is hanging one is defended <laughs> and you take the other so we exchanged pawns and pieces basically with all these tactics and uh, black stands better because these pieces are lacking coordination really this queen is very strong this queen is passive the pawn is backward um, black has the b-file for the time being um, the pawn here is weak Black can maybe play some f5 ideas. Yeah. Okay. So I was again attacked with this knight g5 move, and I played the second best move, which is almost equally good, the engine suggests. Queen back to c7, where it came from, defending the knight, preparing bishop b7, neutralizing this nice bishop. And now you see white's king side is shattered. Black has space. All because of this mistake here. But the problem for white was uh, <laughs> basically what to do in the opening if your opponent uh, disturbs your e4 push. Um, and he didn't find an, an alternative. Well, Okay, rook back to f1 here. Bishop b7 was my move, which the engine says is a big mistake. Let's go back. Best, for example, would have been a a h6 or f6, but okay, the bishop is blocked in any way. f6, maybe even e5, but f6 just to control these central squares. But let's say we would prefer, sorry, pr we would prefer the h pawn to kick the knight. Then white could play to exchange queens. And now there are two pieces hanging. And if you take this and take that, um, you would have to play a move like bishop h6 here. And to see this in blitz is difficult. If at first sight I see my pieces um, not really playing. So I didn't I didn't uh, I wouldn't have liked this in blitz uh, when I would think of it. Um, let's just drop back h6 queen exchange. This is, this is just a variation. And if instead of pawn takes knight, bishop d7 seven defending the knight, knight back, 
that would be uh, the comfortable way to play this and would be okay and black is better so h6 would be the move here I played bishop b7 and this would allow tactics which I haven't thought of in in that blitz game um, we would have knight takes h7 with the idea of queen h4 immediately or prepared um, the point is after king takes we have knight check and queen h4 threatening mate so the king would need luft and then the rook can take on f7 and threatens to take on g7 and afterwards the queen would just enter and kill black basically so if we couldn't take the knight what about rook fd8 here again queen h4 and now black barely has a move and cannot withstand this strong white attack um, here black wouldn't have concrete moves really and again something like this and this nice can opener and if a uh, pawn takes would have check and mate and if queen takes bishop takes rook takes this is very messy you see now the knight comes in deadly and white would win this attack so that means after bishop b7 knight takes h7 would have been the correct move but queen h4 w was played and now I ha have h6 and okay my opponent now tried something and really messed up he tried something but just overlooked that okay my h pawn is hanging but I just can take his knight and there is no <laughs> checkmate anymore and uh, I opened my bishop to be able to exchange it I didn't take it here because then what will have a passed pawn which isn't really a pro problem but I just exchange this way and I would I could defend with my queen but I thought queen g7 just gives gives white a check on e6 so king here not giving a check on e6 so with this rook the queen cannot check me on the dark squares as you can tell so I, the queen can take on h3 um, threatening checkmate so e4 I take on passant queen h2 takes takes very easy stuff check and check and rook f1 and my opponent resigned okay so the important or the only role playing theme here is playing the reversed uh, Leningrad uh, variation of the Dutch defense and black plays what white would play in that uh, Dutch defense namely Fianchetto wing and grabbing the center and then there was this fight of e5 and preventing e4 as good as possible so bishop g4 um, if say e4 here um, yeah maybe immediately taking here maybe just taking the pawn first yeah of course uh, you can also push e5 and if takes knight d7 um, to win the pawn back and if something like this the bishop is still here to not allow 
this disruption. So, so again, if 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 sorry, if e4, we can take and push e5 and fight for the five square. And yeah, and if f5 here, I believe now we can think of about taking this knight here takes takes and just play a normal move um, yeah for example here watching over this pawn and threatening some check here against the king and uh, maybe then knight here, knight here, knight here something like that just finding positional plans so e4 for white isn't that easy if you fight against it and after knight b2 d2 I just played here to being able to, to take en passant so that no no pawn can reach e4 here okay I hope you got something out of this this video was just for your entertainment and just some basic thinking um, for black in the birds landing grad. Thanks, please comment and like the video. Bye bye.